I'm late. Good morning YouTube, welcome to another video. My name is Alyssa and this giggling beauty queen over here is my girlfriend Kendra. So the star of the show today is going to be Kendra because today is all about what my girlfriend eats in a day. Have you ever wondered how many calories that you are consuming in a day? Miss Thang over here has been wondering how many calories she's been consuming in a day. So we are going to track everything that she eats and figure out what her total daily calories are. <laughs> if you're wondering what your maintenance calories are, a good place to start, I'm going to attach a link below, prophysique.com. That is who I did the 12 week transformation challenge with. They have a great calculator on there that you can figure out what your maintenance is, you know, what to do if you wanna be in a calorie deficit, what to do if you wanna be in a calorie surplus, whatever your fitness goals are. It's probably more along the lines of a, a, in a roundabout. Not saying no piece of technology specifically knows your body. So what you really truly need to do is eat for a week, track what you're eating for an entire week, and see where your weight goes. You gotta pick the, say like, for me, if I were to pick 1,800 calories and eat 1,800 calories for a week, did I lose, did I gain? So it's just basically a base point, it's a good place to start. Most people start their day off with a nice old cup of Joe. Kendra starts her day off with a nice old cup of cream followed by a little <laughs> bit of coffee. Top them off, big mama. If you're trying to track anything, you need to get yourself a scale. And I think I've shown before as to what exactly you have to do. But, you know, you get your units up. We're gonna do milliliters for cream. Hit the clear button. And we're gonna put Kendra's cup of coffee on there. And then we're gonna hit the clear button once again. <laughs> what I put in my creamer is the peppermint mocha almond milk creamer. It's from Aldi. It's really good. I don't usually like dairy products in the morning, so almond milk. Ready? She's been wondering how many milliliters of cream she puts in her coffee. Don't look at the number, just put like as much as you actually put in. Okay. All right, going into my fitness pal. Okay, so the way that we're measuring this is via milliliter. She has 69 milliliters of cream in her coffee. So that's 161 calories for this coffee here. Oh my God. <laughs> she's always wondered, she's like, I wanna know what I, I have in a day. Um, I hope that I'm not doing too much, blah, 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 which she actually has a relatively healthy diet. The one thing that I only, and I don't care, you can have whatever you want in this world. It's only whenever you question it and I give my answer and I'm like, well, the only thing that I think you probably hit some high numbers in is your coffee. Cheers. Mm. Try it. And then we're gonna make your cup. Mm. I mean, yeah, of course that is absolutely delicious <laughs> and now I understand why you don't put any sweetener in your coffee it doesn't need sweetener I typically do sugar-free cream and uh, tablespoon of stevia but you don't need sweetener when you dump an entire gallon of sugar in it so <laughs> all right we're gonna get some work done sip this bowl of sugar and we will catch you at Kendra's breakfast <laughs> okay so it's breakfast time what are we eating for breakfast Ken What we're having today is yogurt with grapes, agave, and granola. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to, I got, I got a new camera lens, guys, so I'm not using my phone, so I can actually pull my phone out and do stuff on my phone because I'm not filming on my phone. 
one anymore. Yay! You need that, um... Do you want a chest bump to that? Come on, big boy. Oh! <laughs> Just double tip punched me because you went like this. Okay, so we're gonna go into my fitness pal and we're gonna hit up breakfast. We're gonna put the yogurt on the scale. So go ahead and put the yogurt on the scale. Okay. And what we're gonna do is zero it out. So I want you to put as much yogurt as you typically would have for breakfast in that bowl. Don't wow. don't look at that's fine. Don't look at that number. Do what you would do. So you have about 271 grams of yogurt. I usually do the grapes next. Okay. So well, I'm just eating in it. <laughs> oh. All right, go ahead. Ready? Yeah. All right, so 102 grams of green grapes. Then we gotta zero our scale back out. Ready for this? And now we're going for the granola. Come on, pour it on, big girl. So you got 38 grams of that. So that's 18 grams. Okay, so you have about 431 calories for breakfast, which is like 29 Including grams. Including my coffee. No, not including the coffee. Twenty. There's like 29 grams of protein in that, so you're getting a good source of protein at least with this, uh, with this yogurt. We're gonna remake this yogurt bowl here. Kendra's meal number one, breakfast. Kendra's bodacious bowl of granola love. We have 431 calories and about 29 grams of protein, according to MyFitnessPal. So. What good, do you think about that? Good job, babe. That's, yeah, that's. Good breakfast, That's huh? a good number, yeah. Then you have to get a grape with everybody. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, grandma. <laughs> Would you eat it every morning? Mm-mm. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. You like your savory breakfast. You literally just took the words out of my mouth. I'm definitely a savory breakfast kind of gal. If I have oats or cream of wheat, a lot of times people will do that sweet. I like it savory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kendra's sweet. I'm mm -hmm. savory. So I laughed for a wow in your mouth. What? I don't know. I got a piece of granola up on my gums. Pop up. Fuck my day up. All right, so we're going to enjoy this delicious bowl of white creamy love and see you guys at lunch. All right, so this is everything Kendra has for lunch. What are we making today? A salad. What are we making today? A salad. So in the salad, we got some feta, spring mix, peas, chickpeas, tomato, cucumber, pepitas, onions, and red onions. And that's what kind of dressing? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, God. Okay, so butter scale, turn it on, it's on grams. Put the bowl on, and you hit your tear to clear out the scale. And go ahead, then mama, tear it up. Do a lot. That's that's pepper and pepper. <laughs> oh my gosh! Life is crazy, lass. A little bit of oil and mostly vinegar because oil is high in calories. So just a little bit of oil and a lot of vinegar. Red wine vinegar. I usually just do a little bit. Is that really how much oil you do? Yeah, just yeah. like a dollop. And then a lot of red wine okay. vinegar. So she only did nine milliliters of oil, so I'm not losing my shit over that. Nuts, oil. I don't do a lot of that stuff just because I feel like I'm always trying to eat as much as I can for the little amount of calories that I can. I just do what's good for my body and oil is good for you. And 
Moderation, right? Yeah. Ready for the... I do a lot of this, though. Okay. Do we oh. have to... No, because there's zero okay. calories in that, so you don't gotta... Damn, girl! I soak it. <laughs> Check it out. This Check is... Out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a YouTuber. <laughs> okay, here. I'm just a girl that likes nuts and oil. Okay. I'm not, I can't so, do it. In this bowl, for Ken's lunch, it's 357 calories, and there are 18 grams of protein. That's it? 357 calories? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's you don't you don't always like do me. chickpeas. What else? What else do you like? To I'll do for? chicken if Liz makes chicken. <laughs> I'm the cook in the house. Yeah. So if she preps chicken for the week. I'll eat chicken in my salad, which is probably my favorite way to eat the salad. Um, or if she makes salmon, I'll put salmon in it. But if she doesn't make any of that. Or I really like tuna too in the little packets because Liz doesn't have to make that. <laughs> so chickpeas and tuna if Liz doesn't have anything prepped for me because you're amazing. Um, Aww, but that was so nice. <laughs> she, you always make sure I get fit. Okay, so we're gonna make a, another salad and the same, the same exact salad, and then we're gonna stare at them. Okay, so for lunch, we have got a salad with all the fixings that you saw in the previous clip. What do you drink? Water. But usually I already have, my lunch, I try to drink a full one of these and then fill it up for my lunch, so I try to get at least two of these. You got some relatively healthy uh, habits and eating patterns, I would say. I try. Yeah, you do a good job. I like it. What do you think? Bland, huh? I like it, but yeah, I'm not the biggest oil and vinegar person. I'd probably go with like a light ranch, a light Italian, something like that. You know what I'm saying? We're going to tear these salads up and uh, what are we going to do after that? We're going to stand the steps. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to eat these salads and we're going to be two big old lesbian seagulls and sand our stairs, do some home renovations. We will catch you guys at dinner. See you there. All right, so tonight for dinner, we are having a pizza night. Santa Claus, AKA Candra Claus, bought me a uh, pizza oven for Christmas. All right, so we've got our dough here that has been rising. We got the sauce, the feta, the mozzarella, and finish. just finish. I eat whatever Liz cooks for dinner. Yeah, that, we're eating what Kendra eats in a day, and Kendra eats whatever <laughs> and I cook for And I eat whatever she cooks for dinner. Right, she chose pizza for tonight, she picked the topping, so this is still what? Wee. This beauty queen ones. Okay, see you guys when we're out by the oven. Homemade pizza with spinach, feta, and mozzarella cheese. Tell me that does not look fantastic. Okay, so we got our homemade pizzas. Kendra's choice. And what do you got on the side there, babe? Ranch and a Diet Coke and hot sauce. She likes red hot. She said I can make an exception and I can use sriracha on my pizza. I also got 23 grams of ranch. Like she said, Diet Coke. Cheers, Mama. Cheers. Mmm. So good. Is it? Mm-hmm. Took you two seconds to say that. I can tell. Mmm. You like that better? Yeah. This homemade pizza is seriously a game changer. So Kendra's totaling out to 1,788 calories for the day. We have everything measured out. I pre-measured it when I made the dough for the pizza. This pizza came out to be 840 calories. So a total of 1,788 calories today, 79 grams of protein, which is a little bit low in the protein scale. However, 
this isn't pizza isn't every an everyday thing for her. It's maybe like once a week. So Ken has been talking to me recently about wanting to know where she kind of stands with her daily intake. And from the way that she used to track food in the past, she does not really care to do my fitness pal or track every day just because you said that you kind of obsess over it and then it can create a problem. And that's from past habits. So what we decided to do is to sit down, have a day, um, kind of put in what she does for the day just to see where she stands so that she can be mindful and has a little bit of comfort in knowing the aroundabout of what she's consuming just because she's been curious. I'm going full. You can do it, Brucey. Okay. No, no, baby. She never gets the movies right. It's my favorite movie all the time. I know, that's why you do it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have something sweet at the end of the night. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> Most times I do, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like sweet. It's my favorite. All right, so th it has been a full day of what my girlfriend eats in a day. That's me. <laughs> That's her, in case you haven't know, if, if you didn't notice. Okay, so it's a full day of what my girlfriend eats in a day and basically how to track her calories. Do you feel like you've learned something today? I, yeah. If you enjoyed this video of what I eat in a day, give it a like. If you're not already subscribed, 
you better subscribe. <laughs> also, like this video if you want to see me again on this channel. <laughs> I'm breaking up with her tomorrow. <laughs> I'm Les. You're me? Yeah. No, I'm you. No, but next time I'll be you. <laughs> so that means you have to eat a shit ton of hot stuff and yeah. then probably blow it out of your behind for the next like two days after no, that. No, but I could like do a funny voiceover or something. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Don't forget Peace. to ring the bell. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Are you just trying to cut me off?